I started stained glass a little more than a year ago. I didn't know anything about it. I just thought it was a really beautiful craft and I just decided to teach myself how to do it. Hi, my name is Steph. I'm the creator behind La Vie en Vert. I live in New Brunswick, Canada, where I make contemporary mobiles and sun catchers made of stained glass. The name La Vie en Vert is actually inspired by the song La Vie en Rose by Edith Piaf. Um, La Vie en Rose basically means life seen through happy lenses. And it's basically my mission to try to bring light and color into people's lives. So here's a quick tour of my studio. It's in a spare room in my house. Every room in my house is a hexagonal shape, like an honeycomb. So this room has pretty much 360 view of the nature. And I'm lucky enough to have sunrise to sunset and natural daylight uh, every day, all day long. <laughs> this is my pegboard with some of my tools and materials. I keep my patterns in a book, in plastic sleeves, my workbench, my grinding station, other work in progress. And all of my glass is here and it's arranged by colors and I keep all the scraps in separate boxes too. So right now I am on my rooftop where I sometimes come to hang out and look at the sky. <laughs> Obviously it's a big inspiration for my art to be uh, surrounded by nature. When I'm not in my studio, I can be found at the hospital where I work part-time as a nurse. Obviously, working in healthcare can be a really dark place, so when I'm in here in my studio, I'm trying to create light, create colors that I can give back to people as much as possible because we just all need that. So today I'll be working on my sunny side up sun catcher and I'll be taking you with me on every step of the process. The first step is to design your own pattern, which I already did with my little sunny. Uh, I'm gonna need to trace it to be able to cut every shape so then I can trace the different shape on the glass. So now we have the original one and this one. This one I'll be cutting it. So now I'm gonna trace my shapes on my stained glass. The most important tool of a stained glass artist is this little thing. It looks like a pen, but it's actually the glass cutter. It has a little wheel at the tip of it that's gonna be making the scratch on the glass to break it afterwards. Like so. And yeah, sometimes you do mess up and that's okay because that's part of life and that's when you learn. And funny story. When I started, I really wasn't very good at cutting glass, but my boyfriend who tried to help me was like super good at cutting glass. And that's when I learned that I just needed to accept at sucking at something before I could get good. And there's no failure, just transformation. Next, I need to finish grinding all the edges of the glass and drilling holes in here and in here so that I can cut the circle of my egg. Next step will be to apply copper foil to around each piece. Copper foil is like a tape made of copper. You can see both copper on, on each side. And you apply it around your stained glass pieces so that when you solder the piece, it will actually stick together. I really enjoy this part of the process because it's a very relaxing moment and it's kind of like a meditation for me um, sometimes I'll just stay quietly in my studio and copper foil my pieces uh, sometimes I will listen to my favorite uh, playlist that I made just for my studio time and if not I'm usually uh, listening to my favorite podcast which is the creative pep talk um, I 
highly recommend it. It's available on Spotify and it's really good to boost your creativity. So I've applied copper foil around my glass pieces. So now I'm gonna solder them together to achieve this look. that's it for today thank you for watching i hope that you really enjoyed and learned more things about stained glass um, it's really a fun craft to do there's endless possibilities and if you're ever interested there are some resources online so look at videos take notes dig deeper and make your own patterns very important you'll get so much out of it from creating your own things from beginning to end um, start small if you ever want to start stained glass you will be tempted to buy all the glass there is because it's so beautiful and there's so many different patterns and textures and colors but start small because it's quite pricey and as you develop your style then you can buy more colors and glass yeah so you can follow me on instagram at la vie en vert glass um, and i also have a etsy shop that you'll find on my instagram page so thank you it was nice meeting all of you mm -hmm.